saw a lot of people talking about who should be at fault regarding Tua's concussion. Some people blame the Dolphins coaching staff, some people blame Tua, some people blame the doctors, some people blame the NFL. And one thing that actually pissed me off about this is how some people actually try to blame the Dolphins coaching staff. Now, if some people actually did their research, they would know that the independent specialist did not rule Tua having a concussion on Sunday against the Bills. But right now, the NFLPA is investigating into this situation. They're trying to figure out if the Dolphins actually did violate the protocol. If it's found that the Dolphins coaching staff did violate the protocols, then 100% blame them. The Dolphins coaching staff even made sure that Tua didn't have any symptoms leading up to Thursday's game. So they made sure to take every single precaution to make sure Tua was alright to play on Thursday. And many people on here are saying Tua definitely had a concussion on Sunday against the Bills. How do you know that? Do you have a PhD? Tell me your damn PhD, cause I know damn well you ain't no doctor. An actual doctor cleared Tua to continue playing. And we don't know yet if the Dolphins coaching staff actually violated those protocols. So many people are coming after the Dolphins coaches saying, Oh, fire every single coach. Take away their draft picks. You know how many teams have done this already? Example one, last Sunday, T. Higgins was knocked out cold. And guess what? If T. Higgins and Tua switch places, everyone would be talking about the Bengals right now. Example two, Patrick Mahomes didn't even know where he was after a big hit from the Browns during the playoff. Mahomes was in the same situation as Tua, and he returned seven days later to play against the Bills. No one say anything here, not a peep. Another example where Joe Flacco was knocked out by Kiko Alonso. Joe Flacco only returned 10 days later from being concussed. I saw this statement from John Harbaugh that he couldn't believe what he saw last night. He's an absolute hypocrite. And this is me defending my coaching staff because they would not have played Tua if the doctors told them that he couldn't play. And this pisses me off because everyone's pointing the fingers at our coaching staff when it should be against the NFLPA and the NFL. Their protocols are not strict enough against concussions. That's the problem here. Don't miss me with that blaming our coaches. They listen to the doctors. All the people with fake PhDs, shut your damn mouth. You don't know Jack. I'm going to defend my coaching staff until someone reliable tells me that they violated protocols. The fingers should be pointed towards the NFL and NFLPA. Come up with stricter protocols. Fends up.